Alright you guys, so the other day I made a video, Is Overlook Bay Dying? And in today's video, I am basically going to be going over that topic for hopefully the very last time. And I'm going to be giving you what the team themselves actually said about this whole idea slash topic. Before we start, we are going to come over to the wishing well and do our wish of the day. I'm going to pull out my rainbow shiny celebration dragon for good luck here. And let's go ahead and make our wish. In the last video, we actually got a bloom pet. So I wonder what we'll get today. All right, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, a diamond pet pod, a diamond pet pod. That's actually pretty nice. And there we go. Now let's get on with the video. Alright, so obviously, I went through my Twitter post and went through everyone's perspective of Overlook Bay dying. I also shared my thoughts on the situation in the last video. If you haven't went ahead and checked that out, make sure to go check that out. I will either have a link in the description, or a card above, or you can just find it on the channel. But basically, we went ahead and we took a look at that, and just kind of chatted about that. So obviously, this topic has been something that the community has been very passionate, I will say, about. Um, so basically, Wonderworks Studio was bound to see this. So they actually published a tweet, and this was their perspective. We're sorry about the lack of updates lately. The team has been hard at work on Overlook Bay 2. Your minds will be blown when you see what we have in store. Updates might be small for now, but we're building a better Overlook Bay for everyone, and it's coming soon. So, as you can see, I kind of had some, like, some hype in my voice there. Not a ton. And I didn't mean to have it like that. It's just I'm kind of getting tired of, like, having to hype things up when they're not really super hype, like, right now. So, first of all, I'm glad that the team is hard at work on Overlook Bay 2, but I really honestly don't get it. Why can't you just fix the bugs in Overlook Bay 1? Like, why do you have to make a whole new game? I really just don't get that. And they claim that our minds are going to be blown. Well, I really hope that our minds are blown because, I mean, if it's just this Overlook Bay, but just with the bug fixes, I'm going to be very mad. And I think a lot of people would be mad too. Especially if it turns out that like all they do is maybe like redo like something really simple, like fix bugs and then like maybe redo like a job or something like i i feel like if we're getting a whole new game we should be expecting something pretty big so they said updates might be small for now which is interesting i mean you guys know the player count is slowly going down and down because they're not really doing updates now we know that the halloween event is going to be a small event this year it's going to be nothing like last year but imagine if it's just a couple of pets if they only add like a pet pod and like a, a, a hunt like the uh, like the artifact hunt again, then I'm probably not going to want to play the update. And there's no, no offense to the team or anything, it's just I'm really tired of the same things over and over again. And I think that says a lot, because our community has also said that. But they say they're building a better Overlook Bay for everyone and it's coming soon. So the question is, what does soon mean? How soon are we getting this? Do we have to wait a month? Do we have to wait like a couple weeks? Are we getting it this month? Are we getting it in December? Are we getting it next month? Like what's the deal? Are we getting it next year? So there's really a lot of questions that can arise. But you guys know, I mean, literally Overlook Bay, it's pretty boring right now. It's just the same thing day after day, collecting fruit, fishing, mining, taking care of pets, and dealing with bugs. Eventually that gets annoying. And that's partially the reason why there's not a high player count anymore. Because Wonderworks is just not hyping up this game enough, and they're really kind of, like, almost putting it away, which is sad to see. Because quite honestly, Overlook Bay, like, I think it's a great game. I just wish that they weren't trying to go right for an Overlook Bay 2.0. Like, why do that when you could fix up the main game and it could be perfect? I just really don't 
understand, you know? And the hope is, too, that, like, they finish this Overlook Bay 2 by December. Because I'm expecting something big for the Christmas update. I mean, let's think about last year. Wow, I mean, last year's Christmas update was probably the best, and I'm, I'm not even kidding, one of the best Roblox events, well, not Roblox events, but Christmas events in Roblox I've ever seen. I mean, it was just the best by far. So I'm seriously hoping that they do actually have huge plans for the Christmas event, and that they're going to bring back, hopefully, some stuff, like some of the jobs, or they're going to bring back some of the caroling, or the, um... Like, all of those things, the holiday world, the wheel, like, all the fun stuff that we all loved in that update. But the other thing is, this seems to be kind of a theme with developers, is it's like, they do their own game, like, for example, Murder Mystery. It's like, they did Murder Mystery, and then, um, all of a sudden, they did Murder Mystery 2. Um, Flee the Facility, and Flee the Facility 2. I mean, there's Piggy. And then, well, actually, Piggy and then Piggy Book 2 doesn't really count, because that's still technically the same game. But you see my point, guys. I mean, it's kind of a common theme for these devs to do it. It's just sad to see them doing this with Overlook Bay, because I know the main game really could have had potential. On top of that, they're really ditching both of their main games that, like, you know, was the core of their studio. I mean, you had, um... Yeah, Overlook Bay, which they're making Overlook Bay 2.0, and then they just flat out gave up on Roblox Trader. Like, I don't get that. So, and now they're working apparently on a new game that's similar to Trader and Timmy. Oh, while we're at it, let's talk about Timmy. So, Timmy really is doing pretty bad, too. I mean, the player count is low, it's not really successful, and you know why? It's because they haven't been giving us any leaks, any tea, anything to be excited about. All we know is that episode 2 was supposed to come out at free release, which was like 2 or 3 weeks ago, and guess what? Episode 2 never came out. And now, all we know is that episode 2 is coming out sometime, but we have no idea when. The team hasn't said anything about it. I just think it's really disappointing what Wonderworks is doing. Like, it's great that they're making new games, but they really should focus on still trying to keep their old games going. Because, I mean, here, here's Overlook Bay, Trader, and Timmy, and they're all dying. Just because... You know, the studio seems to not really care. But yeah, guys, that's what Wonderworks has to say about the situation. And that's just my kind of final thoughts there on this whole situation. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section below. And I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.